first day out, first light, paddled off the beach early and it was flawless, really flawless Mavericks, you know, um, the perfect size, clean, beautiful Mavericks. The period in a swell, you can tell straight away when you get out there. A 20 seconds swell period is, there's so much more water and thickness in, in the waves. I'd been sitting out the back, there'd been one or two waves through the morning that had uh, capped on that outer reef and looked like you could take off and backdoor the, uh, the bowl on. So I'd gone and sat kind of deeper and further out, waiting for that, for that wave again. And it didn't really come for about half an hour, 45 minutes. So I, I lost a bit of patience and I paddled in a little bit, but I was still deep. And then that's when that wave came. And a lot of waves that I'd seen that morning had been just barreling on the, on the, on the bowl. You know, you can take it and backdoor it and come through. So that was my plan for my next wave. And, uh, you know, I got a nice entry. Um, I wasn't too late. I got on the rail early and I really just laid it over on the rail and tried to, you know, not go to the bottom. Kind of stay high on the face and do my bottom turn high on the face so I could come up and drive through the bowl. But as I came off the bottom and looked up, I could see that the, the barrel wasn't going to throw. It was kind of, you know, getting a little bit tight on the top. And because it got tight, I probably wasn't going to get in there. And I mean, the last thing you want to do is take a lip on the head on a 25 foot wave at Maverick. So at the last second, I had to kind of straighten out and uh, try to get away from the lip. Instead of pulling in, I had to kind of, you know, go out into the flats. And for a split second, I thought, oh, I'm going to outrun the lip. But as I saw, I looked back, I could see it coming and no, it was going to connect me on top of my board, which would be the worst place to be. So as the lip came down, I managed to just jump up and get away from my board. And uh, the lip hit, kind of hit right where I was jumping and just whoosh, threw me into the air like that. Poof, and threw me, I don't know how far it was, felt like 10 meters forward in front of the wave and then I hit and rolled and then the thing steamrolled me oh. and uh, it was, I mean it was brutal, I got hit hard but um, the next wave actually was even worse because when I came up from the first wave, Vaporized. I was right where the second section joins with the foam, so you get the peak and then you get the second section and it all comes together there and that I was right in the apex of that, like managed to get a quick breath and then just took that second wave on the head and then took the third one in the apex of the third bowl and the fourth one in the apex of the fourth bowl and eventually just got washed uh, past mush mu mushroom rock and into the, I was into the lagoon eventually into the clean water. You know, a wipeout like that at the beginning of the season, I think, you know, if you don't get hurt and you, and you survive it, instills a lot of confidence, you know, because the Jaws contest was the next day, so you know, I, I kind of had that wipeout, I paddled back out, caught a few more waves that I made and, and surfed successfully and uh, I walked out of there thinking, oh well, you know, um, nothing can be worse than that. Um, you know, yeah, I mean that instills a bit of confidence, even though it was an unsuccessful ride and I got pounded, it gave me a lot of confidence going into the Jaws event. The wave that I didn't make was a very special Mavericks wave. You know, you only get one of those every couple of years. Um, I wish I'd made it. I mean, you know, that could have been the ride of a lifetime if I'd made that one. 